idiot. Just a bunch of mindless pussy ass fucks. These Democrats be like, ah, fuck you! Idiots. Fuck you! That's what all the Dems be like. <laughs> ah, shit. Hi there, you cucks! Welcome to another episode of Scully Goes Why. Okay, I'll stop. Now, the reason why I pulled up J.G. Wentworth's Wikipedia article is because today we're going to expose J.G. Wentworth for the fraud that he is. Which is why he hides behind his husbands, Randy Salieri, Dwight Perry, and Randy Parker. Well, well they're not really his husbands, but they might as well be because, he, because he's gay for Rothschild. Okay. According to Wikipedia, the J.G. Wentworth Company is a diversified financial services company focusing on providing direct-to-consumer access to financing solutions through a variety of avenues like mortgage lending, refinancing, structured settlement, annuities, lottery payment purchasing, home lending, prepaid cards, and access to providers of personal loans. And it's publicly traded on the OTCQX symbol JGWE. Do you find anything wrong with that? Well, you should, because the company is a bastard fraud. That's right, people, it's a fraud. <laughs> I just ruined all your childhoods. <laughs> I have a structured settlement and I need cash now. You fuckers. Any of you that bought into that bullshit 12 years ago are likely still buying into it today like the fucking lemmings that you are. But the problem is, most of you people don't even know better. Because you choose not to. Now before all this, it's my money and my needed now shit started, you could have just call them out for what they were, you could have just said, okay, you know what, you guys are full of shit, I don't care how catchy or annoying your jingles are, I'm not buying your product, and then they shoved, it's my money and my need it now, and Wagnerian parody commercials, down our throats, so far down, that they came out through our Agnes holes. And then, of course, we were stupid enough to buy it anyway, because of course we are. Because reasons, you know why? Because J.G. Wentworth is J.G. Wentworthless! Hence the name of a Twitter user who I have since befriended, since discovering his Twitter feed. Anyway. It was founded in 1991 as a merchant bank specializing in transactions in healthcare. The following year, it began purchasing New Jersey's auto insurance deferrals from claimants who couldn't afford to wait a year to a year and a half for their settlements. Prior to the beginning of 2000, there was no state regulation for structured settlements in New York. Elliot Spitzer entered into a contract with JG to prevent New Yorkers from selling their settlements at exorbitant trades and rates. The agreement stipulated that JG could receive a rate of no more than 25% of the annual discount rate of annuities it had purchased from a citizen of the Bank of New York. Because it's not a snade, it's a bank now. Owned by Rothschild and Dynasty themselves. And Rockefeller, too. Now, a decade after that, following the financial crisis, Wentworthless's parent company, JGW Holdco LLC, entered bankruptcy. 
citing liquidity problems amid a tightening credit market at the catalyst for filing. In June of that year, JTW received $100 million in equity from primary stakeholder JLL Partners, which allowed the company and its subsidiaries to undeservedly emerge from bankruptcy. This is because we had a nigger from Kenya who's also a communist Muslim jihadist terrorist for president at that time. The reason why I say he's a nigger is because he doesn't deserve to be called a black person or an African American. Because he was the worst politician this country has ever had. Which is the only reason why in 2011, JG and Peachtree formed a new holding company, continuing to operate independently following the transition. And then two years later, they filed for an initial public offering, which was offered the subsequent month in November of 2013. It was initially listed on the New York Stock under the symbol JGWE. In 2015, they began expending their financial offerings to purchase WestStar for $54 million in common shares and cash. Keep in mind, they had blown through over half of what they were given to emerge from bankruptcy at that point. In the same year, they also announced a partnership with Visa to offer a prepaid card to customers. Next year, in June of 2016, it was delisted from the New York Stock Exchange for failing to satisfy the continued listing rule. Later that month, the company began trading on the OTC Markets Group under the JW A fuck JGWE symbol. Aren't you glad I corrected myself? On November the eighth, two thousand seventeen, JG Wentworth filed again for bankruptcy. And it plummeted to less than half a penny a share two days later. It has been expected to emerge from bankruptcy again this year, in 2018. In fact, it was supposed to have done so eight months ago, but the only reason why it hasn't is because everybody knows how full of shit they are. Because they cannot come to an agreement with lenders prior to filing. It's probably because they have none left. <laughs> What a bunch of dumbasses! In the United States, the company is known for its television adverts featuring Mr. Wentworth! But more recent commercials have included parodies of Wagnerian operas. Obviously, because of course it does. Because they don't know what else to do with their money. That's why they're broke. That's why they've been bankrupt twice in a decade. And, by the way, by the way, you remember me telling you about the Twitter user, JG Went Worthless. Well, you're in fucking luck, people. Because I'm going to show them to you now, huh? Would you like that? Yeah, let's get started. <laughs> oh my god. Woo. Oh man. I love this guy. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> oh God! Now, now this is the first. This is the first tweet of mine. No, actually, no. This isn't my tweet. This is the first tweet that I discovered of JG went worthlesses, which caught my attention and helped me expose them 
for the Ponzi schemers that they fucking are. I'm thankful that you filed in bankruptcy. You screwed over my cousin in Maryland. Say, how many customers are you going to unethically consume this Thanksgiving? Your company is broke. How are you going to buy anything? Who buys a surprise for you? Your creditors? J.G. Wentworth. What the fuck happened to your company? Your stock is worth half a pay. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> I should probably play the Wagnerian opera commercial of J.G. Wentworth's just to spite their asses. <laughs> How about that, huh? Oh, my God. But let's just play that fucking bit, huh? Let's play it. <laughs> Settlement and I need cash now. Call J.G. Wentworth, 877 Cash Now. I have an annuity, but I need cash now. Call J.G. Wentworth, There's no one now won't help you to. Cash 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 one lump sum of shit, they won't fund for you. One lump sum of cash, they will pay to you. Long-term payments, but you need cash now. Call J.G. Wentworth, in cash now. 877 cash now. 877 cash now. 877 cash now. It's my favorite line. It's your money. Use it when you need it. Yeah, but it's not our money. Because you stole it from us, you fuck. You stole it from us. No wonder your stock is worth half a penny. The fuck happened, man? I, no, on second thought, I'll tell you what happened. Your people fucked us over, and now you're bankrupt for the second time in a decade. Good fucking luck getting out of that one. Yeah. Also, just out of spite, I'm probably going to play that other most annoying commercial, which, which I featured on my list of top five most annoying commercials ever. Of course, Head On was a very, very distant second compared to the Wagnerian opera commercial, of which I just played for you now. But of course, you know that because reasons. All right. Let's play that bastard commercial. On second thought, hell, every time you hear someone say, it's my money and I need it now, take a shot of whiskey, or double whiskey, or triple whiskey, or quadruple whiskey, or whatever the hell. Seriously. You know how many times the phrase, it's my money and I need it now, is used just in that advert, just in that minute-long advert? I'd have to say at least 15 times. At least! <laughs> oh. oh my god. And yet Hollywood wants to do a movie based on this fucking Ponzi scheme of a company. You know, th this scheme is so fucking stupid, they should call it the J.G. Wentworth scheme. Okay, I've got a few other tweets of what you see right here that I'm going to feature right now. From Gracie Peck, 
the 2nd of December, 2017. Hey, J.G. Wentworth, how many people in the United States actually have a stretch of sentiment? I literally think there may be four, so cool it on the advertising. Thanks. From Matt Infantino, 8th of December, 2017. One day, I'm going to buy J.G. Wentworth just to drive it into the ground so I never have to hear that awful jingle again. And that's what happens when you waste $14 million each quarter on pointless commercials which contributed entirely and most likely to their second bankruptcy in 10 years. I'm not making this shit up, people. I'm being honest with you. You need to know this. You cannot continue to live as a human being if you don't allow yourself to know this. Because if you don't allow yourself to know this, you've automatically given up your right to be a human. By default. From another Twitter friend of mine, Sarah Davis. I ask this question every time I see the commercials for the pill to correct non-circadian rhythm disease in blind people. Well, you don't say. Should I read again Matt Infantino's original reply as well as the response by J.G. Went Worthless? You want me to do that? Really? All right. One day, I'm going to buy J.G. Wentworth just to drive it into the ground so I never have to hear the awful jingle again. It's okay, Matt. They're doing it for themselves. Idiots had to file bankruptcy for the second damn time in a decade because they throw them away money for the stupid commercials. Dumbasses. If the... Oh, fuck. We actually have some replies... From the fraud himself, J.G. Wentworth, also known as Mr. Wentworth. Okay. Okay. One day, I'm going to buy J.G. Wentworth just to drive it into the ground so I never have to hear their awful jingle again. Or you could just change the commercials. J.G. Wentworth. Ha, 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 ha. About time you file for bankruptcy, cooking for just to pray on the week. What a joke. What a fucking joke. If the ROI wasn't positive, we would have stopped airing the spots ages ago. Bullshit! Why are you in bankruptcy? You can't even fuck yourself as you sleep! <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you people? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I can't, man. I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Eight, seven, seven, cash, no. Eight, seven, seven, cash, no. Eight, seven, seven, cash, no. It's your money. Use it when you need it. Except it's not our money. And we don't need it because it's tainted. It's monopoly money. It's worthless, man. Don't you get the picture? <laughs> oh my God! And and then here here is here is the here is the one that that just fucking cuts the shit right here. The one on the bottom center of your screen. J.G. Wentworth. Need cash now? Use it when you need it. I spoke to your trustee. I mean, yo, daddy. If the ROI wasn't positive, we would have stopped airing the spots ages ago. Bullshit. Why are you in bankruptcy? <laughs> I spoke to your trustee. I mean, yo, daddy. Daddy, Daddy Rob Child, 
My company's broke again for the second time in a decade. I need more money! And I need now! Cash now? You fuck your money. My money and I need it now! Are you absolutely absolutely right. fucking shit in me? My money and I need it now! Oh my god. My money and I need it now! My money and I need it now! My money and I need it now! Oh man! Ha 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 ha! Cash now. JG Wentworth can help. JG Wentworth or how not to run an insurance company for complete fucking faggot retards. You give me my money because it's mine. Because I just have to say that. Somebody has to say it. And if nobody else is going to say it, then I might as well. The call is free and there's no obligation. By the way, JG Wentworth versus Twitter iPhone. It's a guy named JG Wentworth who's showing all his cover flags. He's got empty pockets. It's my money. Oh man! But but wait, there's more. Okay, now these people asked some really retarded questions, and I'm going to answer them for you right. Now, okay, first question. How does J.G. Wentler work? It doesn't. Absolutely no, it doesn't. But since you asked so nicely, I'll tell you how it works. They fuck you up the ass, fuck you up the ass, and see your finances driven before you. That's how it works. They fuck you up the ass. Second question. Is J.G. Wentworth's offer really worth it? Well, I'll let the butler from Fresh Prince, I believe his first real name is Jeffrey, but we'll let him answer that for you. No. <laughs> J.G. Boy. American Dreams. Dreams with a Z. Except it's J.G. Boys. And they won a spot for the shot national competition to create a J.G. Wentworth jingle. Great! Now let's hope they all die of drug overdoses, Carrie Fisher style. World's biggest boy band, the J.G. Boys, because faggots and no-lifers buy into the great Wentworth scam known as the shot for the spot. And only faggots and no-lifers. Nobody else are going to buy into it. Nobody. Except faggots and no-lifers. And if you don't like that, you can suck my dick. Right? Ah, you know, I can't even, I can't even express to you how fucking sad <laughs> the story of J.G. Wentworth is. It's like they want to be attention whores, so they spend like $50 billion on commercials that they can't afford. And shove them down your fucking throats so far down that it comes right out of your anus holes. Right? Ah. Oh. Like a badly made chorizo with extra cheese and Bengay sauce to boot. Ugh. I so hope I'm 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 gonna I'm just gonna say this. I so desperately hope that the people who bought into the J.G. Wentworth scam in the first place get their heads out of their dicks and cunts long enough to understand that it doesn't fucking work! It doesn't work! <laughs> I swear to God, man.
Oh! Yeah! That's gonna do it. Holy shit, that is not good. You said it. And we can definitely agree on that. Hey, we'll see you next time! Stop letting your dog sit here, you bastard!